I think the matchmaking system and the realistic driving standards that are going to be required in GT Sport, I think those two together are really going to change the game. To compete against someone on your skill level and have a really solid race is really enjoyable. It's kind of like going to school with people that you actually like. <laughs> I think it's going to make the game a lot more fun, a lot more immersive and a lot more challenging. It just takes it to the next level in terms of realism. It's going to have consequences for bad behavior on track. When you go online, you don't want to race against someone who's constantly you know, crashing into you, cutting the track, and then winning. You know, it's this horrible feeling. You don't want to rage quit, you want to you know, stay in the race. Before, you will spin and you disconnect PlayStation and you go back and no problem. But now, with Gran Turismo Sport, it will be like in real life. Everything matters and everything counts. So there are consequences to failure, but there's also great joy and success in the game because it will actually mean a whole lot more. That's the point of racing, to challenge everyone, to say, hey, I'm the best one, I'm, I'm faster than you. Competition is gonna go up big style. I don't care who it is, I want them all behind me. With the Gran Turismo Sport, we go not one, I think three steps forward. You will be able to represent a brand or to represent your country. And then at the end of the year, if you are one of the best FIA GT sports driver, you will be able to share the same room with real professional race drivers. It's all about representing yourself around the world. I mean, I'm from Cardiff, so it's, it's Wales. Mexico is, is the best. It doesn't matter where you're from in the end, if you're fast, you're fast. Competing against you know other, other nations, that's a big deal. But also, Manufacturers Cup is quite good as well. People have got their favourites. If you're in Australia, you have your Holden people, you have your Ford people. It means a big deal to petrol heads to know that what they're driving, what they're playing on, has the potential to unlock many doors. You have real people playing online, pressuring you from behind. The competition aspect is going to really take off. It's going to raise the intensity level. It will be like real racing with live commentary, live streaming, real prices. It's going to be crazy. It's crazy when you use the VR. It's just that you feel you are there. I think that, that's next level stuff. It keeps your perception that you are actually in the car naturally see everything how you would if you were driving for reals. You can look at apexes so far in distance, you overtake a car, you sort of look at it as you go by. You sort of have to turn your head physically to look in the mirror. You look up to look in the central mirror. Then I was turning my head as far as I could to look, for, <laughs> look out the back window. This is what you're looking for, to have the most accurate simulator. You could actually improve your race vision using VR because it's so natural moving your head and everything you see is so smooth. The tracks are so accurate, it's very good for sight lines. It's going to be much closer to the real thing. I'm driving this rally car and I'm getting it massively sideways and I'm looking through the passenger side window. And then as the car sort of regains grip and goes straight, I'm looking dead ahead and everything transitions how it would in, in normal life. Combine that with the steering wheel and pedals, it's the closest thing you've got. Gran Turismo Sport is going to bring an absolutely new era of racing.